Imagine a world where a simple scratch could lead to a deadly infection, or an outbreak of a disease could wipe out entire communities. This was the grim reality of the era before vaccines. Life was a constant battle against invisible enemies, diseases like smallpox, measles and polio, that were not only widespread but also fatal. In those days, the understanding of diseases and how they spread was, at best, rudimentary. The concept of germs was still in its infancy, and the idea of immunity was virtually non-existent. This lack of knowledge translated into high mortality rates. The simple act of living was a game of chance, with the odds heavily stacked against humanity. But amidst this gloom, the significance of vaccines started to take shape. These tiny vials of liquid, seemingly insignificant, held the power to revolutionize medicine and prevent diseases that had once been death sentences. It was a bleak time, but the dawn of medical revolution was just around the corner. Enter Edward Jenner, an English physician who would change the course of history. Born in the mid-18th century, Jenner was a keen observer of the world around him. This curiosity would lead him to a discovery that would save millions of lives in the centuries to come. Jenner worked in a time when smallpox was a formidable and deadly adversary. Smallpox ravaged populations, leaving survivors disfigured and blind. Yet, Jenner noticed something intriguing. Milkmaids, who frequently contracted a less severe disease known as cowpox, seemed to be immune to the devastating impacts of smallpox. This observation sparked a revolutionary idea in Jenner's mind. Could exposure to cowpox in some way protect against smallpox? To test his hypothesis, Jenner conducted an experiment that would be considered highly controversial by today's standards. He found a young boy named James Phipps and injected him with material taken from cowpox lesions. After James recovered from a mild bout of cowpox, Jenner took the daring step of exposing the boy to smallpox. The result? James did not fall ill. Jenner's hypothesis was correct. Exposure to cowpox had indeed provided the boy with immunity to smallpox. This was the birth of the first successful vaccine. Jenner's discovery was met with skepticism at first. However, as more and more people were successfully vaccinated, the medical community began to accept Jenner's findings. His work paved the way for the development of many more vaccines, effectively starting a whole new chapter in the field of medicine. The success of Jenner's vaccine led to the global eradication of smallpox in the late 20th century. An unprecedented achievement, it stands as a testament to Jenner's ingenious observation and the power of vaccines. Jenner's work laid the foundation for a new era in medicine, saving countless lives. His legacy continues to inspire scientists today as they work tirelessly to develop vaccines for new diseases, striving to protect humanity against the ever-present threat of infectious diseases. The ripple effects of Jenner's breakthrough were monumental. As the first successful vaccine, it set the stage for an entirely new era in medicine. Vaccines became our most potent weapon in the fight against infectious diseases, leading to the complete eradication of smallpox by the late 20th century. This was a disease that had once decimated populations, leaving survivors scarred and often blind. Other diseases such as polio and measles have seen drastic reductions in incidence thanks to widespread vaccination efforts. Polio, a crippling and potentially fatal disease, is now on the brink of eradication. Similarly, measles, a disease that once claimed millions of lives annually, has seen a 90% decrease in cases since the introduction of its vaccine. In essence, vaccines have not only increased global life expectancy, but they have also greatly improved the quality of life. Edward Jenner's pioneering work stands as a testament to human innovation, forever altering our battle against disease,